Morning everyone, very exciting today because I think I'm going to get my first sort of more in-depth look at the new Nissan Leaf. It's a bit on the windy side though, but we won't let that stop us. As I'm getting back into the groove of things though, I am running a bit late. It looks like the place. If you remember, I stopped at the supercharger a little while ago and I bumped into Vincent, who is a Model X owner. And he told me he was picking up a new Nissan Leaf beginning of March. Would I like to come have a look? Actually, I asked if I could come have a look and he said yes. So yeah, let's go say hello. Hello. James, how are you doing? I'm well, good, thanks. Oh, How's it's it going? windy and cold again. I know. It's uh. This is springtime. It's supposed to be spring, yeah. <laughs> this is your new car. This is the new leaf, yes. Oh, fantastic. So you've like literally had this, what, one day? Picked it up yeah, late yesterday, actually. Late yesterday afternoon. Right. Delayed for, uh, it was delayed a week, but uh, yeah, it's here now. Size boot, isn't it? It's always a shame the uh, subwoofer in the back there taking up boot space. It's amazing they can't find somewhere else to put it, yeah, isn't it? Would it would be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, I'm sure it's possible. Two small units along here would sort of make sense to me, you know, just yeah. tuck it away. Oh, I hadn't noticed it's blue along the bottom there as well. There's a lot of familiar in here. I think part of the reason for that, uh, whether they'll admit it or not, is to keep their costs down. This is all a very similar sort of shape to the original one. Yeah, very similar. It's Ooh, giving you. It's nice they've got a USB there. That's yeah, handy. and a, a straight sort of um, inline straight connector as well. This has got full ProPilot as well. I went for the full option. Awesome. And um, yeah, I haven't quite worked out how to use it yet. With the old leaf, you had the B setting, then you. Yeah, had that the, always you... really annoyed me because I always had to. I always put it in B, so it was just an extra step for no reason. Yes, absolutely. Right, mm. let's go for a drive. Late departure warning. Yeah. Cool. I find that on the, certainly on the new Tesla Model X that I've got, the lane departure warning is very subtle. You can hardly notice it. It's not that good. This is very noticeable. Big flashing lights and um, the noise and the vibration on the wheel. Ah, oh, right here. Ooh. And I love the camera as well. Oh, so it doesn't creep. Yeah, I love the 360 around view camera. It's amazing. Mm. So it doesn't doesn't creep. Um, yeah, with yeah. the pedal on, you don't get creep. Oh, mm. it, it feels nice and light. Yes. I've always liked that about Nissan Leafs. I guess it's because it's oh, it's weird. It's got it's got a lot of lot of region under the e pedal, hasn't mm. it? Oh, that's such a relief. That was one of the things I always disliked about the Nissan Leaf versus, say, my Tesla. The fact that it dis it never had enough braking. Even on, even in braking mode, didn't slow it down quickly enough. Like this. Ah, oh, that's just fantastic. I stopped short of the line. Oh, out that way? Yes. Oh, I love it. Oh, they right. reckon that if you're clever, you can um, actually hardly ever need to touch the brakes at all. Oh, I would never have to touch the brakes mm. in this car. Never. I barely touch the brakes in my Tesla. You know, mm. only if I have to come to a complete stop, and even then I'll try and do exactly this, just give enough room that the person can go without me having to stop around that way yeah around the way. yeah i think it makes for a better driver because effectively you're planning more aren't you looking yeah, i can't get over the fact that it can bring you to a complete stop that is so cool i think that's one of the things that they've uh, raved about with this supposed uh, so-called e-pedal i'm always quite hesitant to sort of floor it um when the road's slightly wet because of my rear wheel drive tesla it's got some it's got some kick. Yeah. It loses puff around what 45 50? But it's it seems to have quite a lot of get up and go before that though. Yeah, I think the official figures they quote I think for the previous leaf was supposed to be in about eleven seconds, though it does did seem faster. 
this one I think they're quoted about 8.5 yeah that's a, I, that feels about right yeah so is that initial 0 to 30 that gives you that feeling of wow yeah, I, sp I spun the wheels then <laughs> okay yeah, I had a feeling that might happen. Well, we were yeah. going slightly uphill in its damp, so. Yeah. You know, when it comes to 0 to 30, I was always very, very impressed with the first gen leaf. It feels much better once you're at 30, but it doesn't feel at 0 to 10. It was the 0 to 10 in the, in the original leaf. One of the most immediate 0 to 10s I've ever, even actually 0 to 10, I reckon my original Nissan Leaf would be my Tesla. Really? I, granted, I have the world's slowest Tesla. Oh. But <laughs> it's like 0 to 60 in five and a half seconds. And by the time we we're doing 10 miles an hour, the Tesla would eat it alive. My car's got a bit of a weird um, acceleration curve anyway for yeah. a Tesla. Because it's rear wheel drive and it's only an 85, so it's, it, it's a heavy car. It takes a little while to get going right at the beginning. Where I find my car is a right liability is when you're already doing 65, if you floor it like that, we'd be doing 80. Wow, that's you know? quick. And that is a liability, because it means you're trying to overtake somebody on an A road, and before you know what you're doing, you, you know, you're know you heading in the direction of 100 miles an hour. Gosh. Not that that happens to me very often, but it's almost impossible to overtake somebody without speeding. Because sometimes you do need to get past, but yeah. as you say, because you're going to end up going that much faster than you want to go anyway, but you have to hold back. I mean, it's the first car that I've had where when you're trying to overtake somebody on a country road, you actually have to hold back a little bit. Mm. Because if you don't, then the cars are coming at you at a ridiculous closing speed because you're doing 90 and they're doing 50, 60. Yeah. You kind of have to not floor it when you overtake. And... <laughs> yeah, that's that lane departure warning. <laughs> Yeah, you see what I mean? That at 30 miles an hour, this car is, has got some pickup. Yeah, it's quite lively and... Uh... It's miles, miles quicker when you're at 30 and accelerating than, than any Leaf I've ever been in before. I know what you mean about the quietness. Yeah. It's a, it is a nice, quiet, relaxing cabin, isn't it? 200 yards, speed camera. Oh, and that's what we like. The good old-fashioned Nissan sat-nav, <laughs> making sure that we don't speed past cameras. Why don't Tesla have that built in? I basically never speed. The only exception being maybe when I'm overtaking <laughs> and, uh, and I can't help myself. But other than that, I never speed. That doesn't mean that I can't drive from a 50 zone into a 30 zone without maybe noticing the speed limit sign straight away. Or you know, maybe it's been hidden by a bush. Uh, that's, and that's, then there's uh, a speed camera. That's that happened to me. Out. And you know what? Um, to everybody. When you when you say that it's hidden by a bush, people think nah, nah, rubbish. And when you go back and you look and you realise, you only see it just as you're about to pass it because of the, uh, you know, it's obstructed by yep, a bush. Absolutely. And, and you then get if these... there was somebody coming the other way or something distracts yeah. you for a second, something yeah. that's actually more important than the speed limit. Yeah. Which you know, and to hear some people tell it, the speed limit's the most important thing in the world, but it isn't. It's much more important not to hit a car coming the other way, yeah. for example, or a person on a bike, or a little old lady crossing the road with her dog. I've noticed as well that there's some areas where you get a sudden um, change in speed limit and then a camera. And I'm always, yeah. I'm always skeptical as to my view, basically, is that, you know, is that done on purpose to catch people out? Of course it is. <laughs> but there might, be a, there might be a good reason behind that. You know, like they need people to slow down Quickly. promptly yeah. because actually you're just about to hit a corner with a school. On, yeah. Um, you know, on the other side of it or something. Yeah, it's keep, a very comfortable car. I, I could drive around in this car all day long. Definitely, yeah, that's how I feel actually. You know you're not going to be able to get out, don't you? Are you going to take it all the way back? Well, I'm just going to take it back <laughs> until I can get out. <laughs> that's no I'm problem. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll tuck it in actually. I'll take it all the way up. So much for showing me your new car. It's yeah, awesome. It's my pleasure. Cheers. Have a safe Take care. Indeed. Take care, James. I had to swap to the waterproof camera because, well, firstly, it is raining a little bit, but mainly the other camera ran out of power. So I think probably what we're going to do is revisit Vincent tomorrow and have a little bit more of that interesting EV chit chat. 
in that vlog post. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, unfortunately, it is time to head home. I loved that e-pedal. That was fantastic. Really, really liked that. Well, that's fantastically good fun. Nice to finally get to drive the new Nissan Leaf. And unsurprisingly, it felt very, very similar to the old Leaf. Actually, all electric vehicles feel really quite similar. But yeah, I was, I was very impressed with how it drove. Kind of quite like one myself, but it would need to be a bit bigger for me, unfortunately, because I do have a nasty tendency of carting a bunch of stuff around in the back of the car. And now it's going to be time for me to say goodbye for the day. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, remember to like it, share it and subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye. There's actually a lot of this, isn't there? Yeah, there that. is. I mean, like, you can control the cruise control from the steering wheel, which I think is a good idea. Much yeah, better idea. Yeah, I much than prefer that than the start. The thing is, though, what I find, and this is one of the things I like about Tesla, is that it's very minimalistic. Um, you don't have a lot of buttons. You don't have a lot yeah. of this. You look at it, and obviously you think, right, what, what's next, and what do I press, and, and how do I do this?